Hi everyone, Lee Veris here, bringing you Photoshop tips and techniques for teachers and students. Today I'm sporting my do-it-yourself haircut here, I call it the COVID cut. Uh, anyway, uh, today's rant is going to be about black and white. Now black and white is a way bigger topic than I can possibly cover in one Photoshop rant. So today we're really just going to talk about one specific technique for black and white conversion. And uh, let's get started. This tutorial uses two images from a recent workshop about classic Hollywood glamour photography in the style of George Harrell. We'll see how to use channel mixer adjustments for black and white conversions. I'll show you how to blend the red and green channels for a unique total rendering and how to use multiple channel mixer layers to fine-tune tones. We'll use layer masks to paint different tonal renderings into separate areas of the image. All right, here's my first image, and uh, this was, uh, it's, it's, it's already been retouched and, and, and corrected for the color, but now to, to really get the, uh, the whole old-fashioned Hollywood glamour uh, look in this image, we have to get it into black and white. And um, um, even though I was photographing it with the uh, Fujifilm simulation, um, just to kind of pre-visualize it, now I want to really optimize the black and white. In order to do that, we have to start with a color image. So um, typically what people do is they, they use, the, uh, use the black and white adjustment uh, tool to create the black and white. And, you know, here our, our default uh, black and white adjustment is, is okay. I mean, I, I'd really like the skin to be a bit lighter. Uh, typically, skin color is more in the reds but also the lip color is red. So if I make the skin nice and bright, the, lip, the lips go pale, right? So we can maybe make the yellow brighter, you know, so I can get a kind of an approximation that, that's, that's reasonable here. Um, and, you know, she has kind of green, greenish eyes, so we can kind of, yeah, well, those don't really, it does not doesn't seem like it's really affecting it. So this, you know, it's 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 reasonable, and this is what most people will default to is the black and white adjustment tool. Um, the black and white adjustment tool, however, it's it's trying to look at colors in the image, and sometimes that can be uh, kind of problematic. So we're going to turn that off. Um, let's look at the channels. I mean, this this is really kind of the, where things are pretty interesting because every color image is actually made up of three RGB channels, which are different grayscale renderings. So if we look at the red channel, skin is not really pale, which is, uh, it, it's kind of a stylized look for, uh, especially for women in glamour. We like the really pale skin, but you notice that the, the, the lips are very pale. You know, the green has got a darker rendering of uh, the lips um, and the skin. Um, let's zoom in a little bit here. And the blue has the darkest rendering of the skin. And what I want to point out here is that in each of these channels, there's a full range from black to white. It's just that the tonal rendering is completely different. So because... Um, the skin is more red than it is blue, it's darker in the blue channel. Uh, green is a bit lighter, and red uh, has the lightest skin, but you'll notice that the eyes, which in RGB are, are kind of this, they're kind of a, a hazel color, right? So they're darker in the red channel and lighter in the green channel. So that's kind of interesting. And, and the blue channel, they're, they're kind of in between blue and green. So they're fairly light in the blue channel, but the skin, look how dark the skin is. But notice that the, the highlights in the skin are still uh, bright. So it's not like I could take a curve and, and make this 
red channel skin look like the blue channel skin. So with this in mind, um, we're going to take advantage of this, the, the, the idiosyncrasies of this, and uh, I'm going to use the channel mixer to create a black and white. So we'll throw away the black and white adjustment. Instead, we'll use the channel mixer. So I'll get the channel mixer adjustment here. And um, we're going to use uh, the presets for the channel mixer are all about giving you black and white rendering. So uh, we're going to use uh, black and white with red filter because we want that pale skin. OK. It also makes her hair lighter, her hair is blonde, and we like that, that light rendering in black and white. But now I really want to get uh, darker lips. Um, so I'm, I'm going to blend in a different channel mixer rendering. Now here's the problem. Uh, if I put another channel mixer on, um, this channel mixer does, if I say like, okay, I want the blue uh, skin rendering, right? Uh, so I'll set, select the blue, which gives me 100% of, of the blue channel, but I've already, I'm already in black and white. So the all three channels are the same. So there's a little trick to getting this channel mixer to reach down to the background layer and that's in our blending options. So I'm using the layer options flyway here, going to blending options. And here's the trick. This knockout feature, if we say none, it just means whatever you know, you're affecting, whatever is directly beneath it. But if you go deep, it reaches down to the background and pulls up uh, the rendering directly from the background and places it in the top. So here we have, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna label this so we can keep track of it. This is the blue channel and this is the red channel. Okay, so the blue channel is reaching down to the background. Now, the back, it, you have to have a background layer. This is where people often get a little uh, messed up. So if I double click this and make this a layer. Now, when we reach, when we do a, a deep knockout, I get nothing, right? So um, I'm gonna undo that. We'll go back to the background. So you really need a layer that's called background. That's a background layer that's locked in order for this knockout deep thing to work. Okay, so now that that's uh, pulling up the blue channel and the skin is really dark. It's kind of tan looking. I'm going to invert the layer mask. And here's the trick. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to use this blue channel. I'll get the, the brush and I'm going to paint with white into the layer mask. And uh, we'll first we'll put the lips back in darker lips and I uh, you know I'm painting with 30% opacity let's go ahead and go for the gusto here I'm gonna I'm gonna paint with 100% opacity and we're just gonna paint the darker lips in and you know what's interesting about this when you're when you're painting in the channel luminosity um, the, the, the blue channel has a full range from highlights to dark. So it's not like putting a curve on this or making it, you know, kind of artificially darker. It's naturally darker. And so it has a very natural look. Um, so we can, we can perhaps lighten the eyes a little. Well, maybe the eyes aren't really going to be that much lighter. But here's an interesting thing. I can darken the, um, I can put like, eye makeup on. So I'm going to paint in the darker blue channel around the eyes to give the impression of eye makeup. Okay. And how about a little sculpting? 
So we'll reduce the opacity of the brush to like 20%. And I'm going to add a little shading here around the nose. Uh, we'll darken the shading around the, the cheeks here. Okay. Um, we can we can extend this. Let's let's uh, let's go for some shading on the arms. She doesn't really need it, but you know, just to illustrate how this could work, I'm gonna kind of I'm 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 essentially because the background is gray, it's pretty much the same in in all three channels. So I don't have to be that careful about how I am brushing over into the background here. So I'm just kind of trying to create a little more sense of shading. So I'm thinking like a sculptor here. And let me turn this on and off and kind of see how much that is improving the look of the face. And it's giving me that kind of highly stylized uh, look. Now, if you decide that it's too much, it's in a layer, we can reduce the opacity of that layer, you know, just kind of bring it back somewhere where you think it might be, uh, it might look good. Okay, so we've combined now the blue channel and the red channel to create kind of an idealized black and white rendering. Okay. So let's look at a let's look at another image. Here's another one. Now this one has this has got an interesting problem because. Uh, if we use uh, the channel mixer and we'll go to the black and white with red filter. Again, the lips go really pale and the dress goes really pale. Um, and here I think the skin is just too light. So what we're going to do, instead of just using 100%, you notice how this goes, it's, it's checked monochrome here. The output channel is gray, and we're basically placing 100% of the red channel in all three RGB channels, and that's why we get a neutral gray rendering. So I'm going to change this to 60%. Oops, let's do this. <laughs> Hopefully I'll get that right. Not, not here. Let me highlight that, and I'm going to make that 60 and then I'm going to make the green channel 40. So we get, you know, maybe maybe we'll do 70 30. Let's do 70 and we'll make this 30. The reason I'm doing this so that all the channels add up to 100 because that's not going to uh, alter the white point of the image. But it's giving me just a little more tone in the skin because I was feeling that 100% of the red channel, the skin was just too pale. Uh, but now we need another channel mixer, uh, and we're going to use, um, um, let's, let's, let's go with uh, uh, black and white with green filter, because I want to darken um, the, the coat. Now here, we're going to have to go, again, go to the, our, uh, our blending options and knock out deep okay so this this uh the the green is just too uh too dark here so let's let's do the opposite let's do um 60 of the green and uh 40 of the red okay and that actually makes the lips look nice um and i want the the garment to be a little richer black and white tone so, um, but the skin now is a little too dark. So let's invert this. So I'm going to do a command or control I. And uh, we'll get the brush and I'll brush in over uh, with 100% uh, opacity. We'll brush in this new channel mixer adjustment to deepen the tone of her red coat. And we will deepen the tone. Oops, we'll deepen, deepen the tone of the lips. A 
In fact, I'm going to brush over the teeth here. Again, this is a, another advantage of, of brushing in these channels instead of just using a curve to darken it or something. Uh, because the, the channel structure still has white teeth in it. Uh, it just renders the red color of the lips a bit darker. And we're blending here 60% of the green channel to get those lips a bit darker. And I know she has blue eyes. If we turn these off, you can kind of see she's got blue eyes. And I know also that the blue channel will have the darkest skin. So um, let's, let's put the blue channel in there. So I'll get my channel mixer. My default now will be blue channel. Of course, it doesn't do anything until we go to the blending options. And another shortcut to getting into the blending options for that uh, layers to double click in the kind of empty space of the layer, not on the name. We'll double click on the empty space and we'll get the, the blending options. It will go down to deep. Okay, so now we got we got uh, the eyes are actually lighter and the and the skin around the eyes is darker. So we're going to take advantage of that to create our um, our eye shadow effect. Um, And I'm going to just brush right into the eye because her eyes are blue and I want those lighter looking eyes. Okay. Um, I don't think there's really any need to do any shaping on her face. Uh, maybe we could do just a little bit on, on, on this side of the nose. So I'm using 20% opacity here and just kind of Okay, something like that. And you'll notice the eye, the eye color is a little bit lighter, but I've also created that eyeshadow effect. Okay, so now um, what else? Maybe, you know, she has blonde hair, right? So if we look at the original blonde hair, that'll be a little bit lighter in 100% of the red channel. Maybe I can make her hair look a little bit lighter. So I'm going to get another channel mixer. We'll use the uh, red filter, um, which is gives me 100% of the red channel. And I have to, again, go back to my knockout deep to get down into that, you know, that get access to that lower background layer to get the original red channel. And we're only going to use this for the hair. So I'm going to invert that layer mask and uh, brush in, um, we'll use 100% to kind of lighten up the blonde hair. It's probably not gonna be really dramatic here, uh, but in some of these areas, you know, we're kind of pinging the highlights. And maybe I'll, I, I'll make these Maybe those can be a little bit lighter, the, these details on the clothing. Let's take a look. A little bit. In fact, I can actually cheat this um, channel mixer. So I'm going to double click it here, get back into the channel mixer. And instead of 100%, what happens if I give it, you know, even more? So I'm, I'm lightening the highlight. They're, they're blown out in some areas but I'm, I'm lightening the, the lighter colors that we brushed on here. And now I can perhaps, you know, use a lower opacity and, and brush back, uh, you know, knock off some of this brightening effect in the areas that have blown out here. So I'm, I'm taking black at 20% opacity and I'm kind of just brushing it over the areas of uh, the hair that have gotten too bright now that I've I've added that extra um, brightness in the red channel, right? So, so now you can kind of get a feel for how we can combine uh, multiple channels blended together. Again, this is this is 100% red. Uh, this one was blue. 
Um, and this is the sort of, uh, I'm going to say green, red, because it's mostly green. And then this one was mostly red with a little bit of green. So I'll label it for my uh, edification here. <laughs> All right. So you can see the, uh, the effect of blending these different uh, channel mixer black and white renderings to kind of idealize the black and white. So we're not stuck with just one uh, rendering. Um, and over here, this was much simpler, just the blue and the red. Um, so that is my rant for today. And I hope you found that uh, useful. So to review, we saw how to use channel mixer presets for black and white conversions. We then blended the red and green channels to arrive at a different rendering. We saw how to use advanced blending options with knockout deep to retrieve the original channels from the color image, to use in layers to reshape tones, apply eye makeup, and all by painting in through layer masks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Photoshop Rant. If you have any questions or you'd like to see more detail about any of the techniques I touched on in this project, please let me know in the comments. You can always find more detailed information on my website, and you might consider following me on YouTube and Twitter to find out about my various classes and workshops. Be sure and like the video, and please Subscribe to my channel on YouTube and ring the bell so that you don't miss any rants in the future. You might consider following me on Instagram. I have two books in print available on Amazon in Kindle as well as paper versions, Mastering Exposure in the Zone System for Digital Photographers, and my bestseller, Skin, The Complete Guide to Digitally Lighting, Photographing, and Retouching Faces and Bodies. If you're looking for more in-depth Photoshop tutorials, I have a number of video courses available from my online school at veris.com. Look under the education menu for online courses and pick from over 16 courses covering all aspects of post-production, workflow, retouching, and special effects, including my latest course on black and white mastery, which includes several projects, including uh, the images from this rant. Thank you for watching. Post your questions and suggestions for topics to explore under the video, and I'll see you in the next Photoshop rant.